An Olympia couple says they were attacked by a small group while celebrating pride early this morning on Seattle's Capitol Hill. They believe they were targeted because they were gay. On the Ocomo 4, our Steve McCarran is live with how both men are doing tonight. Steve. Russ, Stephen and Patrick both have broken bones, cuts and bruises, and one of them is now missing part of a tooth. They say they were sitting on cement blocks near Pike and Boylston early this morning when they were attacked out of nowhere. And we were laughing and it was fun and everybody was having a good time. Even Stephen Briggs says the, the mood was festive up. early this morning, right after the bars on Capitol Hill let out. He and his boyfriend were sitting on these cement blocks enjoying a slice of pizza when a group of three men and two women walked by as Patrick put his hands behind his back to stretch. And the guy comes up behind him, raises his hand up above his head, and then just smacks his hand. And I, you know, I said, why, why, why did you do that? And he said, oh, I was high-fiving you. I said, that wasn't a high-five. Hmm. So, and that's when things escalated. Patrick snapped this photo of his broken nose after he says he was punched in the face several times as one of the attackers yelled out a homophobic slur. Stephen tackled the man to the ground. He says that's when the other two started kicking and punching him in the head. Somehow he managed to get up and chase after the group, but eventually lost track of them. It's kind of made me regress back a little bit of regress backwards in my progress of, you know, just feeling comfortable with who I am. You know, I feel like I've been pushed back a step. Cut up and bruised, Patrick now has a hard time walking on his left leg. Half of Stephen's front left tooth is now gone. An x-ray revealed his right ring finger is broken from his knuckle back to his joint. On top of thousands of dollars in medical bills, the two say they will likely miss some work because of the attack and we're planning to move to a new home next week. People have this idea now that same-sex marriage has been legalized. They must think with marriage comes everything. You know, that all the ignorance and intolerance just goes away and it doesn't. The irony in all this is that Stephen works as a crime victim's advocate. After five hours at the hospital, they managed to carry out their plans this afternoon to celebrate pride. Tonight, they just want their attackers caught. You know, I feel that they should be held accountable for their action. Now, Seattle police did confirm they did go out and take a report about what happened. Detectives are now investigating the case, but so far they haven't released any information about possible suspects. Reporting live tonight, Steve McCarran, Como 4 News.